gonna just start a second stream. So leave this one, go back to the A Academy page and then join in right here. And then I see the option on this one to uh, approve guests. So l leave this stream, um, go out of it, and then you should see the next stream and you can uh, join right there, right? Um, so I see it on here. And I, th I think this is a better picture too. This makes me look amazing. Whoever thought an Android would make you look like you are somebody. And I was, today I was somebody. So I don't care what nobody say. Um, if you did not know, let me tell you that I found out I was so, I was somebody. Good God. All right, today we are talking about, um, uh, let me see. Uh -oh. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to wait for him to get on here. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go, there we go. Air Academy is live now. I am, I'm on here. And I may not be as mainstream as I wanna be, but I am um, here nonetheless anyway. I see some hearts, I see some thumbs up. I, I see something that lets me know that somebody else is in a room other than me and I ain't just talking to myself. And we have Trevor on right now. I tell you, we we are a go. We are a go. So let's let's do that and just go. Good morning, Trevor. How are you, sir? Whenever you can get in here. We have liftoff. I'm I'm back on top. I did see the 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 universe decided for me to be on top. That's that's what happened. It didn't like me on the bottom. You know, you say that. Every time, that every time, that time every. Every. Um, let me put a title on this real quick and share it so we can get um, the maximum exposure today. This is a uh, air class um, introduction to business uh, 102. Uh, I am your host and instructor. I'm your teacher and Air Academy founder, Jeremiah Pfeiffer Sr. Um, I am um, a nonprofit educational leader in uh, two states, five branches. Um, and we are joined today by none other than uh, Trevor Jones. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to try. I'm not it because, because, because your list is way beyond mine. I'm, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, man. Um, hi everyone. My name is Trevor Terrell Jones. I am. Going to call it for stewed um, a yacht cast production. Um, the most high father upstairs, he gave me that one. Um, used to have a very successful cleaning business called Jones and for Clean, um, working on getting started a, in um, an entertainment um, business, uh, videography, photography, editing, um, what is rap, uh, country commercials, doesn't matter. Um, I am the owner, founder, currently the only employee of uh, Jones Enterprise LLC. And what that is, is um, um, it's a conglomerate of business ideas, mentalities, realities. It's uh, one small business helping the rest of the other businesses. Anybody who wants to start a business, anybody who ha already has a business and you just need help. Because um, one small business grows the entire world. Um, That's good. Yeah. Um, have 
stuff in the works. Uh, Jones and uh, Jones Barbecue is coming out soon. Um, finger looking good, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, that's that's, that's about it for right now. Good. That you you know what that that sounds that sounds really good right about now. Some some barbecue. I've been waiting for too long. Um, and I'm I'm still waiting. You know, it it snowed consequently yesterday or last night um, here in Huntsville. So uh, that pushes my ship to barbecue back a little bit further. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll find a way to make. You know, it. you know, a true a true grill master would would barbecue in the snow. It don't matter. Rain, sleet, snow, hail, tornado. It don't matter. I'm I'm about to barbecue. Do, before you start, do you remember when when um I was less sure of myself and you um you sponsored me, you um you invested in me because you you seen something in me, you tasted my food and you were like, Man, this is good. I I want you to go out there and, and I just squandered it away. You remember them days? I, I I promise you that won't ever happen again because I truly know my 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 worth and I know how tasty my barbecue is. Hold on, Doc. Are, are you are you not hearing that? It is. It could just be my connection, but it the feedback is 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 it clear for you? Yeah, it's clear over here. Okay, all right. But you, you know, know I'm, what? I'm in the dungeon, me, so. Okay. Well, let me pick myself up off the floor, because that that may be part of the problem too. Um, I remember a way back when, when when we were um just getting started. I think in everything that was um the idea form. I, I wanted to um, to make I think a profit I think you did too as well but but we jumped I think way too quickly in into something that was just an idea um, and really didn't put too much thought into it um, right. we, we we both have I think a long list of of failed ventures are um, mm -hmm. unexplored and, and I say fail not as a as a word of of compromising to uh, to quit, but a word to say right. that, that there was some babies that we pre-aborted because we, we we didn't take time to we we, <laughs> we didn't take time to mother in the right way in the incubation stages, um, and and so so we had the baby way too soon, and I think mm -hmm. you know in light. Of of that, no shade to anybody who you, you know um, would go through that, of course. But um, it it had no choice but to die because um, mm -hmm. it was unplanned, and the survival rate um, for unplanned pregnancy in dream form. Um, Very low. It's next to none. It's it's it's, it's damn near impossible. Um, but uh, today we're talking about um, I don't know if you saw the title or not. Uh, whatever it takes. Hmm. Um, so so real quick. Uh, whatever it takes. The the black man the black man who uh, created. Um, I'm pretty much must have went through a hundred. Thousands of failed attempts um, in order to make that one light bulb now, but some would look at those failed attempts as failures. But that's a hundred, if not a thousand, different ways on how not to make a light bulb. So you have to use your failures in order to accomplish victory. And so that light can click on.
Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, the connection is terrible. I'm like, I'm not catching what you're saying. Um, there's like a ton of glitches and stuff in between it. Um, are you on um, Wi-Fi or are you on your data? I'm on my data. Um, I don't got, I, I, I don't know what to do. Um, I can go outside. Um, I don't think it's you. I think it's me, but um, nevertheless, though, we're going to prevail. If it happens again, then um, I'll have to find another way to connect. But um, th th that's really what we're talking about today, uh, whatever it takes. Um, I think a lot of the times in entrepreneurial business, you'll come to a place where everything won't work out. Uh, it has seemed to be mm. going more against you than what it is for you. I mean, that there, there's some dreams that you'll never see the fulfillment of, not because you weren't in a place of building it, but because the circumstances around you were not predestined for you to succeed in it. It's, it's stressful when, when you face problem and challenge and feet and foe and all of that stuff, and you're just trying to get your foot in the door. But but when right. you you make up in your mind, Doc, that I'm going to do whatever it takes, then it really doesn't matter what comes to oppose. You see, the storm could have came last night, as it did, and it snowed today, and there's still snow left behind. I'm pretty sure it it messes with the power lines, and it messes with the cable, um, and the internet we got with Verizon. I'm, I'm pretty sure it plays in all of that, but I'm going to tell you something, though. When I set my mind to something that there's not too many things that can deter me from it, if I have to go down the street and plug my phone into the Ethernet cord some kind of way, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to find a way to, to, get, to get the result that like I look for. And if it's not for today, then that's fine. We'll just do it again tomorrow. And if it don't work, work out Tuesday, then I see you Wednesday or Thursday. But never giving up is... is is sometimes declaring I'm defeated today. So I just do it again tomorrow. You got to keep showing up for the fight because the battle isn't over until you won. See, it's, it's, it's just a fight if, if you got to draw or lose. But, but see, until you've won, then the war isn't over with yet. Cannot be. I'm not defeated. All right. So, you know, you, you know, I want, to tell somebody something. Uh, I want to tell you something uh, that I tell myself uh, over and over and over and over. Um, because a lot of people are afraid of failure when it comes to business, it's pretty much just a period. <clears throat> um, well, guess what? You failed already. Yeah. Some people they failed. They showing somebody they failed. You failed. So plain and simple, you're a failure. So now that we got that out of the way, stop being afraid to show up for yourself. Stop being afraid to to get business that that that's something that could better the world. Stop being afraid of that. You've already failed at so much other stuff. So take your fail yourself and go ahead and show up and teach yourself how not to be a failure. Because on the flip side of it, you've also been a victor. You've won basketball games, you've aced tests, you've showed up for somebody, you've paid somebody, you've, you've helped out a homeless person. You've done whatever it is to make yourself feel better, to make yourself be a champion. So take all those failures, scoop them up into one big bag, drink it, and tell yourself that you're going to succeed today. Even if you don't succeed in 
fulfilling the goal that you set out for yourself. At least you tried. Always try, always try, always try. Keep trying, whatever it takes. You know how many businesses that I have failed and failed and failed? Do you know how many relationships I have failed? The, 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 and, and that's another thing. We fail relationships with people, with you know, with our, our girls, or our spouses, or whatever. But then we turn around and we want to get into another relationship. So if you have that same drive, then why not have the same drive for yourself to start a business? I know my barbecue is phenomenal. I won't ever give up on me because I want people to taste it. I want people to taste this goodness. You know, one of the biggest things that I like uh, as far as cooking. It's, it's when people actually taste my food, they smell it, then they taste my food and it, and it puts a smile on their face and like everybody yeah. stops mm -hmm. talking and they just start eating and just everybody's just face down, just grubbing. That right there it just brings me so much joy. So that right there is why I continue to try bring people joy. Nice shiny hit. I'm 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 fighting with, with it, but but we gonna get through this the same way I got through my first divorce Last and year. the second one. And 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 you gotta be able to tell you, yourself, I may have been hit, but I'm not defeated until I surrender, I quit. And quitting is something that I think the enemy may be um, expected. But can I tell you that um, he may be celebrated prematurely because he did it too early. If he thought that I was gonna come to a place and give up, uh, just because of a little hiccup in the road, then uh, we must not know who God purposed this plan and put it inside of him. To today, we're talking about doing whatever it takes. But I, you know, I I can't help but be a spiritual, you know, person. I I just the the, the word in me. I'm a preacher by education, but I I, I do it by default because um, I think. I think when you have a relationship with God, I think it just oozes out in every aspect of your life. I, I, I can be talking about doing unclean stuff and God just pops up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, know, you know, how many, how many girls I've come in contact with, uh, with I, I got to stop calling them girls as, as if I'm, as if I'm 10, you know, how, how many, young ladies I come in contact with and, and we're, we're talking and, and God just springs up in the weirdest times. You you can be about to buy condoms and then what, you know, I re remember how God was a covering and, 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 and a hedge fence and how I didn't wear these back then, but he protected me anyway. <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awkward, but when it's in you, you 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 can't really do anything but let it come out of you. My namesake J Jeremiah said, uh, "It's like fire, uh, shut up inside my bones. It's worse than an STD. It just won't leave you. <laughs> it won't leave you alone." Um, today, <laughs> today I wanted to talk about um, Moses and David. Um, I don't know if you caught last night's um, um, insomnia session. I couldn't sleep, so I decided to get on here and vent. Um, well, I was dealing with Moses, and I didn't quite get to David because I got tired. Um, <laughs> but one of the things I saw, Doc, was that a lot of the times... Um, the sign that you're called to do more than just die here is, is that the attack will be over your life, your dream, your future, and, and, and what God placed inside of you, your gift, to kill it so that it doesn't come out of you. But Moses had that same problem. See, when, when he was a baby, 
they determined death for him would be better than him growing up, letting the dream that God placed inside of him actually birth and set people free. And so th th they didn't have his name, but there was a worn out over his gift. <laughs> and, 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 and before you get too far in you, n know that the attack is over the assignment. It really didn't care about you in specific, which, which was why the decree was kill all the baby boys. Um, but I, I, I thought I thought that was significant, though. Um, your calling, a lot of the times, is what the attack is to kill you, um, just off of what you're called to do. Something that you said, um, uh, previous conversation that we had. Uh, I recently watched one of your uh, videos where you were uh, talking about the uh, children of uh, Israel. Hebrews and wondering. Um, I'm gonna keep it spiritual, but I'm gonna also go back over to the business side. But um, some people will they struggle with getting their business off the ground because they're too busy wondering, wondering if it's gonna make busy wondering mm. if it's gonna fail, too busy wondering if how do I do this and, and, and can I afford this and should I should I start now or tomorrow stop wondering and just do it just do it so the children That's of israel were destined to make it to the promised land in three days three days journey but they were wandering uh, around the wilderness in the desert moses actually was one of the ones who at first he was wondering because he was wondering god i have this speech problem god i i, I this and I can't this. They ain't gonna listen to me. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. But then eventually he started getting it. That's why he would actually have uh, different meetings uh, with God uh, on the mountain. Uh, 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 God actually had to tell him, "You have to dressed. You have to be dressed for success." And in this dress, he had to take them shoes off because this is hallowed ground. This is a holy place. You you, you can't always yeah. be dressed in sneakers. When you go into business meetings, you have to dress uh, 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 to impress. If you want to get that loan, you have to put on a nice uh, outfit, a suit, a uh, tie, and let these people know, hey, uh, I am a force to be reckoned with. Um, so Moses had to show up to God dressed appropriately, and then he had to go back to the and let them know, hey, 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 this is what's going to happen. So Moses actually had all of those uh, uh, Egyptians, or excuse me, all of those uh, uh Hebrews were his employees. He had to relay the message from boss man to the employees and had to deal with all of the customer complaints, all of the employee complaints. And he did it very, very, very well, actually. Um, sometimes, you know, just like a regular person, you know, he got frustrated and he threw through through the uh uh through, through the owner's manual and bro broke it. But he got reprimanded, but he still had to come back and remake another one. Um, he did a really good job at owning his job once he got past his wondering phase. Then he had to deal with everybody else wondering. And I, I like how God turned around and blessed him um, for, for doing a good job to where he didn't necessarily get a chance to step foot into the promised land, but God took it. Because it was never his job to uh, be an employee or be a manager for the rest of his life. It was his job to be a boss. So God uh, elevated him. God uh, uh, gave him gave him a promotion and, and and brought him on up to heaven. Now you said something about David. Now to my knowledge, yeah. I don't think David ever wondered. From from a boy, David was was doing what he ha had to do. He knew he was doing what he knew how to do. You know, from a boy, he was killing lions and tigers and bears to where it came to the point where um, he seen his people getting disrespected, maybe by a, a disgruntled customer. He said, "No, nah, mm, we ain't gonna do that. I, I don't care 
who you are, sometimes the customer ain't always right. And I want you to remember that people with a business, you owning your own business, the beautiful thing is, is you can turn down service. You don't have to show up for nobody. If somebody's being disrespectful, you you don't have to show up. You, all money ain't good money. Everything that glitters ain't gold. So you don't have to go to that thing. You, you don't have to show up. You can tell these people, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going to cancel on you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. And then you write a bad review about them. Uh, even if they're writing good reviews or bad reviews, a review is still a review. You're still getting input. You're still getting people to notice you. Anywho, uh, David, his whole life, uh, he was confident. He he went through life just doing what he knew how to do. I think that was one of his downfalls is he wasn't wondering. So he pretty much just jumped off the uh, uh, curb when he was young. And so that's why he made so many mistakes. Yeah. Um, but mistakes in a business, just like mistakes in life, is not a bad thing. If you learn from your mistakes, you learn from your mistakes, then you grow from it. Yeah. As far as business, as far as life, you do that, then you can grow, you can elevate, yeah. and you can be a much better boss, you can be a much better person. That that's that's the critical part. The the mistake, but then you you don't miseducate. You, you, you at, at actually learn from where you didn't. Now you take it, and the next time that you do it, you, you can do it better. Then um, David, I think, came to a lot of feats. Right? He 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 he, um, he may have defeated the giant, but he fell prey to to the little tiny girl uh, who lived down the street. It's 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 like when you're not prepared for it, that, that, that there isn't anybody who can really advise you or train you on what you're gonna come to, because it you, you're the first one to do it in your line. Catch that now. He he didn't come from a line of kings, but he came from a line of of folk who tended to sheep. And and so his his dad may have had advice for him, but it wouldn't have helped him not in this playing field because what God has determined over you is the first in your line to do it. I'm talking about the first one to hit a billion. I'm talking about the first one to build three of them in 10 different states. I'm talking about the first one to not just secure it, but to have it, own it, to possess it, and then pass it along to somebody else. See, you, you can't depend on them to give you advice on what God placed inside of you. Not only have they not ever seen it, but I ain't never seen nobody do it. M m mistakes are gonna happen. It's, it's gonna cost you. But how much it costs you depends on how far you go before you can admit, you know what, I made a mistake. Be, uh, are you going to let it kill you, Uriah? Are you, right. Or you can be man enough to admit, damn it, there's some places where I thought I was safe and secure. I found out that I was unsheltered. I was unsafe. I wasn't secure. I didn't have enough to, to support it to fund it, and for real, for real, if I had a stop and took introspective, I would have never even got into it, Bathsheba. And then for Moses, he's trying to set his people free, bro. That's, that, that's the assignment that God gave me. He said, Jay, I want you to be the modern day Moses. I said, what you talking about? I said, I want you to set the people free. I said, okay. And then I started <laughs> talking to my people and I found out they didn't even know they're in slavery. Mm. That's what mm. Harriet Tubman would say if she had a meme today, she would be like, I could have set so many of my colored people free, but they ain't really think they was in slavery. When, when, when you so secure in your suppression, then freedom looks like it's slavery to you because you don't know what to do with something when they're not handing it to you. So so, mm. so to go in a tale, for, I work for myself. And there really ain't no other option. And it's like, you, you, when, when you gonna grow up and get you a real job? When, when, when you gonna get some stability and security? But, but see, when the stock market closed down and when they go 
below deck and 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 when the banks start pouring out and when they turn you away what do you do then see don't don't nobody go to those heads and no and no those um those in entities and tell them when are you going to stop playing bank and go get you a real a real job because this is <laughs> the options, right it's when when you can determine in your mind there ain't nothing else they 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 had a um a saying about preachers um it says some some were called some were sent some just decided to get up and and say that they went um but for those of us who do it as a lifestyle they say that preachers are those who can't do anything else i could go to mcdonald's but i can't I could go to Walmart or bb and T. I I could go to Oakwood. I'm not talking about the college. I can go there and teach some stuff, but I can't. Because that's not what God placed inside of me to do. So, Jay, every time you get comfortable, I'm going to make you a murderer, Moses, so that you can run from everything that looks like complacency and comfortability to them. Any place that you look at that's familiar to you, I'm going to make you murder something there that's going to make you a fugitive and run on from it because God didn't determine for you to be here just comfortable in your element. So I'll make you run from it. And just when you think, just when you think you found safety and security, hold on, Moses, take your shoes off. Because there are some places that you want to run from that God said, no, 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 no. I put that idea inside of you. And you're not going to run from what I placed inside of you. You're going to build it. You may have run from them, may have run from that. You may have not got done with it over here. You may have not uh, gradu graduated with it from over there. But the thing God placed inside of you, I promise you, if you don't do nothing else in life, you're going to do that. You're going to do what's placed over your life purposed for you to do. Might as well just give in, take your shoes off, get comfortable, and go ahead and do it. You, you said a mouthful. You, wow. It, no, I need some water. That's why. Uh... Um, you have, I, I was about to say, you have no idea. Of course, you have an idea because you said it, but the realization modern day slavery <laughs> the realization of people are slaves to their everyday lives people are slaves to to the mundane as they say waking up every morning going to that nine to five having someone pay them so 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 like you said if and and, and trust me i've worked many numerous jobs if that check don't show up in time because of the weather, you said it was snowing in Alabama. That's crazy. So, in, yeah, you know, yeah. in, in Alabama, they shut down the, the, the entire world. They, they put roadblocks up. There ain't nobody coming in, ain't nobody coming out. Right. So, so if that UPS guy don't show up with those checks, what you going to do? You got bills to pay. You can't tell your, 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 your rent, your landlord, hey, uh, my, my check didn't show up today. Um, could you give me an extra day? He may be nice and generous and give you an extra day, but guess what? You got fees. You're going to have to pay that late fee. You, you can't tell the, the car dealership, uh, I, I didn't get paid this week. Uh, my job is, is laying me off. So uh, if you could just lay off on charging me this rent for this time, I, I would really appreciate it. You can't do that. That's right. That's right. It, people don't realize it, and it's right there in plain sight that the debt ceiling is rising and rising and rising so what that means is they're pumping out more and more of this fake currency so what that means is um inflation so that means the prices of things are going up so that means the value of the dollar is getting lower is going lower and lower regardless that the value the, the, the value of a dollar is actually worth nothing because it's not backed by anything I, I say that to say this, what's going to happen when there's no more money? What's going to happen when the people who own businesses 
are considered the richest people or whatever because we have values we have things that we can barter we can trade we have skills we have uh this we, we got different things that people are going to want because guess what you work at a mcdonald's but when mcdonald's shuts down because can't nobody pay for it you flipping burgers is not going to uh, get you anywhere in life uh, as far as you working for yourself unless you try and start a business. But by then, it's going to be too late. Me with my uh, barbecue business. The world shuts down. I can still uh, go out there and barbecue and cook for somebody. You need to stop depending on people you need to wake up and realize that you are in modern day slavery that that you moses they need to start listening to you and stop complaining just think about that if people were to actually just stop and just if god told everybody who is his followers just stop what you're doing and i need for you to go over to uh israel Make that journey to Israel. How many people would complain and be like, "No, nah, I can't. I can't do this. I'm gonna go back to work. I, I can't. I can't do this because uh, it was easier over there when they were paying me. It was easier over there when they were feeding. When Massa was telling me a uh, good job, and he gave me this star that I could put on my shirt, my work uniform. It was easier over there. That's why some people can start businesses, and some people can't." Because the people who have their eyes open, who realize, you know what, I can't do this no more. I cannot work for nobody. I need to work for myself. I, I need to secure something greater than a pension that's turned around. If you think about a pension, it's pension off little bits of money that you should be making for your kids. A pension. You have to live off this little pension that you can't give your kids nothing. Yeah. People yeah. don't understand that. It's... It's um, it's it's prison with a purpose, um, but through pay and politics. When when we talk about employee to employer, um, I I I cannot make light of either side because I wouldn't be where I am today had it not been for somebody pulling or pushing behind you you you. You are only as successful as you are, Trevor Jones of Jones and Jones and for Clean, be, because you can sit at home and talk to me while there's somebody else cleaning the companies that you go out and bid on the contracts for. Now, some people are not leaders, but but they they they're just best known as co-workers. I don't want to call them nothing else. But if 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 we didn't have co-workers. Uh, then I couldn't be so comfortable in this basement chilling for like two, three weeks because there wouldn't be nobody out there to clean the Airbnb. Wouldn't be nobody out out there to get the um, to get the devices not set up for the school. Um, that there, there, there wouldn't be people like the background and and the giant is only as big as the war that's screaming behind him. Go Goliath. But but with, when we talk about sitting on your dream, right? I'm I'm not talking to folk who are just okay with being okay. I'm 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 talking to folk who you've been three years in it. You sick of it? Can't nobody tell you nothing because you ran up in there. You learned everything. I'm 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 talking to the cashier uh, who 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 know that they paying you way too less because you 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 be doing. Your job, their job, his job, you open a store, you close, you count up, you run to the bank, and you do all that before two o'clock in the afternoon and trying to find out, bro, why you late, but 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 they ain't paying you enough because you know that there's something greater on the inside of you that's calling for you. When you find a job that's perfect in the start, but two weeks into it, it's like, damn it, I, I, I'm sick of this shit. When you you only get to that because you're frustrated, not with the job or the employer, but you're frustrated with you because you know that there's something greater inside of you that you're dumbing down, that you're selling out for a quick check. Now, I know that it's comfortable. I know it is to have the security of a set paycheck. 
But brother, let me tell you, sis, let me inform you today. The attack was for the gift. It ain't give a damn about the man. See, that's why they said kill all the baby boys and not Moses. It had to be general so it could distract you. If he made it specific, kill Jay, then everything that I thought I knew would have been online then just to go do what God told me to do. But when he said make it general, kill all the folk who got a bald head with a stutter, then we, we, we think that we can come to a place and be like, okay, cool, I got time. But see, if he don't kill you in your body, he'll kill you in your time. I know him to hire you to kill you just so that you can work for them and a dream not birthed out of you. Whatever it takes for the enemy to get you off of course, that's what he'll do. And killing you is not always you laying in some tomb or laying in some box six feet under. It could just be you laying on a job for 16 years, never doing what God told you to do. So consequently, there's people depending on you who never get freedom because you somewhere dead working for them. That's who I'm talking to. Talking to people who can't do nothing else, but you sick of doing what you're doing. Mm. Mm. You, you know, one of the most tragic things is some of the most talented people uh, are in jail or prison. But on the flip spectrum of that, some of the most talented, most well-versed people are and jailer in prison at a job. The many multiple jobs that I've worked, I've met so many people who have the idea to start a business or, or, or just so smart that they, they can invent things, but they never do it because of the security, the false security that, that they love to cover themselves with that little blanket they don't even cover all of their body that half their body is showing and is still in the wind when all we have to do and i know i know that it's easier said than done but i go back to not quitting uh you've been a quitter so you might as well try it um and let god God will guide you. He will direct your path. I mean, it says that. Um, that's right. That's, that's right. We, we, we just have to. I, I mean, I, I go back to David. David didn't ask God, hey, God, can I go kill this giant? No, 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 no. He said, hold on now. I, I know that my God don't like ugly, and this giant is ugly, and he talking bad about David didn't come from king's blood. It was in him, but he didn't know that. He was he was a shepherd boy. He he was tending to sheep and animals and stuff. But God said, you know what? All that work, all that tending to sheep and animals, you're you gonna tend to my people. You've been practicing flipping those burgers. You've been practicing customer service. You've been practicing uh, 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 cleaning. You've been practicing cutting grass. You've been practicing doing all this other stuff that you going to turn around and use for the betterment of you and turn around and use for the betterment of somebody else. That's why I love my employees. Do you know why? Because I tell them all the time, you're not my employee. You you are a, a, a independent contractor. I'm here to show you how to do it. Do you, do you know that I get, I get pride and joy when one of my employees comes to me and say, Mr. Jones, I, I, I won't be working here. Uh, uh, in two weeks, I'm giving my two weeks notice because uh, I'm taking your, uh, your advice and I'm going to start my business. If you don't mind, if, if you can give me some pointers uh, to help start, start my business, I would appreciate it. I, 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 re I rejoice. I thank, I thank God for that. You know why? Because that's another person that's not depending on me. That's another person depending on themselves and following their dream. Yeah. No, I don't get mad at that. I, I I encourage my employees to don't don't you work for me for the rest of your life. If I have somebody who worked for me over five years, you I'm doing something wrong, and we need to have an evaluation. Yeah, yeah. When, see, when 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 God called you not to just build it to employ them, but but when He called you to build it to set them free, 
then, then, then that means a lot of the times you can't get close to folk who work for you or that you work with. We're not talking about you having sex with the assignment. We're talking about you getting too personally attached to the assignment that you begin stipending them from growing because you like the way that they work here. And they're good. I know it. There, 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 there's some folk who are close to me. I'm talking about VP of my company, who at the end of the day, we had to let go and then give them the entity too, because God purposed more on her than to just stay connected to me dying here. And it, it'll cost you relationships. Pay it. it it'll cost you friendships. Write the check for it. it it'll cost you like your home comfortability and complacency and all of that stuff, whatever it costs, pay it. So I'm going to tell you something. When it's on you, the purpose that he called you to, you won't be able to rest until you do what God say do. My, my, my point of perspective every day that I come in contact with anybody, when I left you, did I like hand you keys for like your freedom, right? How, how many folk do we, we come, come across at the gas station or at, at, at the store or while you getting your hair cut? I ain't got none, so I'll shave at home. But, but when you're like, passing by and they're like oh yeah i thought about doing this but i didn't know what i or they, hey well what do you do and you you, you tell to tell them in short form be like i just run a couple of companies and they're like oh i wanted to and we're like okay good i i hope i hope you all right bye and it's like wait a second See, it's, it's, it's not them having to join or pay the two ish and all the fine to come to Air Academy. It's, it's not, not, not them getting work done at live. It's, it's not, not them come, coming for me to preach to them at church. It's when we can pass by each other, be like, hold on, bro. Let me impart a seed. See, I, I don't know why you decided to tell me. I don't know why you decided to lay all your dreams on me today but nothing happened by happenstance. And I just may be the water that you need to like let it sprout. And you just may be that one sign that ain't nobody else do it but you, that they ran in contact with, that they ran into. And you could be like the moisture or the ground or the sunlight to help make that, that seed sprout. So don't, don't forfeit your ability Right. If you ain't got no hands, if you ain't got no no feet, if you ain't got no no page, no phone, what you have is the voice God gave you. And even if you stutter, that you you can your way all the way through that just to be a sign and be like, man, I know it seemed like it's gonna work against you, but that's just sign that you're destined with something greater than what you think you are doing. So do it. Go for it. The worst that can happen is the worst that can happen. But at least you tried it. Don't give up on your dream, man. Whatever, whatever that is. Now, some ideas we do need to like quit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know I mean? There, there's, there's some stuff, girl, you, you, you know you ain't gonna ever be that kind of dancer. You, you, do, do, it, it, some professions we really need to quit. You know what I mean? Like some people are cut cut out to be drug pushers, but bro, like you you doing way too much your own product. <laughs> you maybe need to let that go. I, I'm I'm just saying, like you know, know your skill, know your market, know your gift, and and don't let nobody sleep on you. And you don't sleep on you. Most importantly, you don't sleep on you. Cause some of y'all need to wake yourself up. You sleep on yeah. me, bro. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. That dude. Hey. That dude. Hey. If if that man right there, I mean, he was one of the hardest brothers we ever came across and worked for. 
But if he can do it, and 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 right. I'm not speaking bad about anybody, but he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. That man knew how to run his business, though. That man knew how to bid on stuff. That man knew how to make sure that he wasn't going to fail for his family. Come on. And he would fire you in a heartbeat. But he was one of the nicest men you could ever meet. If, if you were short, you can call him. He'd pick you up. That man was amazing. He is amazing. That, I, I, I don't know. But... I, I, I be seeing him um like he'll be at first church and i'll see him outside by himself just like that whole yard just cutting it and 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 if you didn't know him you think oh that's all he does is just cut yards but you'll know this man like run a multi-million dollar company that employs many people he probably just ain't found nobody for that particular job yet I uh, some somebody probably was like, "Hey, bro, uh, I can't co come in today." It's like, "Cool, cool." Jumped on 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 that mow and started mowing. But the same with Mr. Woods. The same with Kyle, though, right? I I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you read. If you oh, read I, I remember Kyle. I, you can't forget Kyle. That 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 that, that weasel. Do probably had in my depiction a uh, eighth grade education. Um, but he learned Jan Pro cleaning contracts. Not, not, not. Right. That's, that, that's like extremely light of shade. I know he went to college. I know he has a degree from um A and I, 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 I know that. But the set, the the road straight on how he would just talk to me and you, it would seem like this man ain't never been to school a day. He was, he, he was just like uh, uh. A uh, 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 um homeboy, um somebody mm -hmm. you're comfortable with. But when we went to procure the contract, he took off that homeboy hat and put put, put on his, his like his his suit and tie your voice and got the contract and the next one and the next one and the next one and and do I don't even think he slept I don't know what kind of stuff he, he, he was on i don't think he slept how many jobs he did and then you you, you know like one, one thing i learned from him though bro like i thought that we we had gotten like really 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 close i started like slacking on the job dude pulled up paid me my last check and said jay gotta let you go and i'm like no he's like yeah it's it's not personal it's business See, I got a business to run. And at the end of the day, you're my friend, but you're not going to starve my family being personal with that personal sh Because to me, it's not personal. And if your performance sucks, it just does. That's something you got to deal with in your person. But for me, it's business. And we can leave that and move on to something greater than like, eh, the feeling of it then we can secure the future secure it i think personal is business but you know it kind of is personal though because it's my family mm -hmm. I, I tell i tell everybody friend family foe um you get hired on um business hours I, i'm not your friend um um mr jones I, I run this place yeah we can laugh and cut up all you want to but 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 let me miss some money we got problems um a friend of mine told me a story he said um uh, he had the um the ultra beauty contract uh he had the one in uh huntsville and the one in florence he was making good money i think it was five thousand dollars each that's that's good money um uh, and the tools and stuff already there, but uh, he, he ended up hiring a friend to work the Florence location because you know he didn't want to travel back and forth. The friend already lived in Florence. Well, the guy was going through a divorce. <clears throat> um, he knew this, uh, but instead of uh, checking the guy, you know, making sure that you know he was still gonna be able to do his job because you know he was already getting complaints 
about the guy showing up late, um, not finishing, doing the job, so on and so forth. Um, he showed up <clears throat> uh, one day after the guy had finished, barely finished uh, before they opened, uh, took the guy out to drink. And, you know, they sat and they talked and they just, you know, BSed around like, you know, friends do. And um, he thought he got everything handled. Uh, he did. Um, but two weeks, maybe three weeks later, I shows up to work. Now, this is a cleaning contract. I shows up to work. He knocks over one of the end caps. You know, one of the end caps. Uh, maybe a dollar worth of damage. You know, he knocks over some bottles, up what? But instead of calling the owner, his friend, and saying, "Hey, man, I messed up." Um, do a or whatever. Um, I'm gonna clean this up, but it's gonna take me a little bit longer. I messed up. I'm so sorry. The guy left. So, like I said, the guy. So, by the time the manager shows up, the store is still a mess. Plus, the end cap is not over. So there's makeup and eyeliner or whatever was all over the place. So, they called him and said, Um, uh, we need for you to come to Florence right now. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna show up. Okay, I guess God didn't show up. So they pull him to the back and they tell him we're gonna have to end uh, this contract because we've had two complaints and you've done nothing about it. So he lost five thousand dollars in the five thousand dollars in Huntsville because he could not mm -hmm. fire a friend. So I learned something with that. <clears throat> I don't care if you my friend. I don't care if you Jesus. If you're not doing the job that I do, then we have problems. Because you're taking out of the family. And one thing I'm not playing with is it. So I want to hire you with myself to make sure that my business is thriving. What is it? Uh, in, in a vehicle, if you have, if you're driving along, you get a flat tire. You just keep driving on that flat tire. You have to pull over. You have to change the tire. Uh, put a spur on until you get a new tire or put the new tire on in order, in order so you can continue. That right there is how you should look at business. You get rid of the bad, replace it with the new, the spare until you get to the new in order so you can continue on driving on down the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, um, not, not ignoring it, but, but when you catch a leak, like you stop and you fix it. And sometimes, like, that cut won't be the employee. The cut will be you. But see, you, you, you have to be, like, determined to succeed. And that has to be more important than your pride. Like, one of the things I found out doing contracting for the federal government was that Jay spent two much money unnecessarily. I buy 10 different cars in, 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 in a five month span and then, then wasted it and ain't paid my rent for the year, ain't, ain't did any of that stuff. I, I, I got, you know, folk who clean, who up, up upset that I ain't paid them, but Jay just brought a Range Rover though. It, when, <laughs> when you can be, and strict on yourself as you do on them because your success has to be so important that I'll make the necessary cuts even if that means cutting me. So Jay can't be CFO in every entity. You, 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 you understand what I'm saying? I can't be head of everything that I start or build or every idea that I have. See, God will give you the idea, but he didn't give you the title president or put you over it. 
some stuff is just for you to build and then to put other people in it to run it you just had the idea to orchestrate it he didn't call you to be there to like run it to like maintain it to see the day-to-day -day operations of of it so if that's cutting you then cut you whatever it takes whatever it takes then you do that like um of course you 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 know we we stopped contracting um uh late last year sometime um but it, it was just taking too much time like trying to get folk to read the um the um the contracts trying to vet them like bid on and all that stuff you, you're talking about four or five months to like to win a contract but we ain't even even in the vying to win because we ain't even put our bid in by the time we we we, we done the re research for the bid in like it's time to move on to the next one it's too time consuming now you you can make like a ton of money but for me i wasn't gonna put that into it so why don't i re allocate that energy into something else. I built a nonprofit. Let me just share with you how you can contract because I ain't going to do it. Um, whatever it takes to succeed and like to secure it, the future, the focus, then like take your shoes off because this is going to make you uncomfortable, but it's something that I need you to deal with flat footed. Right? Like that that like arrogant hat to be like i don't do take your shoes off for a minute humble yourself right like l let's deal with it on like even ground let's weigh all the mm -hmm. odds here um let's step into that holy, and, holy yeah. land let's let's yeah 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 let's let let's deal with it like in a holy perspective and that's just being honest about it there's some stuff you killed bro good job and there's some stuff you sucked at not good job <laughs> um but but let let's incorporate um david into it j just a tiny bit before we close um and then I'm, I'm gonna call it a day because my back hurt and I gotta get back to fighting with these people at Verizon. Um, and that'd be tiring. Did, did, did you catch that breath? Did you, did you catch that right, right, right there? Um, I went into Verizon a couple of days ago. I think I told you this. I went into Verizon mm -hmm. a couple of days ago. Um, this is gonna be our first semester um, doing entrepreneur education virtually for Air Academy. Um, my start date was the 20th of this month. I wanted to give every enrollee, um, every student an iPad and a laptop. I aimed high, so I gauged for 40 students to enroll, pay 45, hundred dollars and let me teach them amongst my peers and educators um what it takes to start a business um i walked into the verizon store here in huntsville and i ran into a black lady i'm gonna go ahead and give her her her, her shade of fame because of what she did to the entity um her name was um diana she works for verizon Diana. wireless corporate um yeah she she is um um the rep for for um entities for small um i i, I don't know i don't know how to explain if you have a small business organization or, or, or whatever you want to call it uh if you, you need items or uh new phones or wh wh whatever she's the person that you go to um in in the huntsville um area or one of the people that you go to 
I went in there, I didn't even know it, but I caught her name when she told me off of um off off of my sales sheets for one of my other contracts I have with Verizon. Um And I told her what we were doing. I said Air Academy, and we're gonna start. And um, you know, the twentieth of the month, we're gonna have enrollees. So, well, how many people you have enrolled now? I don't have none. And then she started with the questions about like how many other accounts I have with Verizon. Bitch, I got fifty. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and after we run down the list, do you know what happened? She walked away from me, right? Um, hearing the dream, the assignment, the vision God gave me, with no prerequisites, no sign up, no no like room to be like, well, I know this because I've done this before. All I have is a vision and a dream, and so far this worked out for me. And so I'm just one of them folk who just live off, off, off of faith, like internally. It just works out. Some stuff does. I mean, and if, if, if it don't, then I just believe God will take care of me until he gives me something else. Um, well, she wasn't going for it. And so she walked away from me. After about 10 minutes of her being out playing in the background, I walked up to her and I was like, well, I, I think I'm, I'm going to go. It seems like you're busy, occupied. You don't really have the time to deal with me. And then she lied to me and told me that she was pricing devices for me. Um, after a few words back and forth, she assured me, well, you won't be buying any devices today. Not only did she change my point of contact on that particular contract with Verizon, she changed the information on my account so I could not get signed in. She locked me out of my account, reported my account for fraud and um, for misuse for um, fraudulent activities. I didn't even have not one line on the account. Not only did she do that to that account, but every free entity I have, live concepts, elevated life, no walls, um, LLC, no walls, Christian Center, no walls, uh, contracting resource center, Air Academy, my new one. You know, she put a block on it from Verizon. Every time I run it, it flags it in the system that there's like fraudulent activity. Let me tell you what that Pharaoh does to dreams like this, Moses. Joseph, just keep it. See, you you out here sharing your dream with folk who don't believe in it, they can't see it. And it's not that they don't believe you. They just don't want you to know how much they believe you. See, if if the enemy let you really insight in on how much he really believes in what you're saying, you'd be unstoppable. So they have to cast doubt on you and be like, you're not going to do it. I don't believe in, in it so that that would deter you. Right. But see, Joseph, you have to keep telling people your dream in order for your destiny to happen because somebody has to throw you away. She tried to throw you away. She tried to, she, 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 she considered killing you but then somebody in the background said don't 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 do that because then you can go to jail for murder you you, you can't just kill his his assignments you can't just kill his businesses because they ain't your businesses so they they, they came up with a plot and a scheme in order to take your outfits take your dreams take your businesses uh uh uh, uh First, they threw you over in a ditch. They knocked you out, threw you over in a ditch, took your outfits, took your dreams, took your businesses, uh, 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 smeared, tried to do a smear campaign, and then and brought it back and said, uh, uh, I, I think he is over there dead. I, I don't know where he is, uh, 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 but, but this is his, his dreams. This is his, 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 his hopes, his livelihood. Uh, uh, but I think he over there dead. Uh, just in order for somebody to come and pick you up, take you over to Egypt, that spiritual bondage, in order for somebody to 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 recognize you and, and, and to make you into excuse me to help you prosper 
into something bigger and better to where you're actually going to be over them to where they just have no idea. You're going to end up saving her life. And, and, and later on in the future, she ain't going to be able to recognize you. You're going to be over Verizon. It's going to be called Jay. And, and, and she ain't going to recognize you. You're going to be so wealthy and so dressed all handsome and stuff. And you're going to be like, that's, that's Diana. And then she's going to be like, I, hey, Mr. Fife, well, how you doing? I, sir, I'm glad I'm working for your company. You're going to be like, mm-hmm, all right, okay, cool. How are your kids? Well, I'm glad that they eating. You get what I'm saying? They, they, they telling that dream. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay on the path that you own, Joseph, because even if they do try and kill you or they try and throw you away, they only throwing you into your destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I I like that. I, I I like that. See, you 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 can't let anybody stop you from building Noah. See, you 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 what what God put inside of you is crazy if you told everybody. But that 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 don't mean that you shouldn't say it. That don't mean that you should ever stop building it. But that that, that became word of conviction for me. See, when they built the ark, it was so big, nobody could dispute it. Damn, that's a big boat because it was right in front of them. Now, if we know it's going to float or not, if we think that he's out of his mind, if we think that God is real, if it's going to rain, I don't know. But they can't dispute the fact there's a big ass boat right there in front of me. And that became sign of evident to me to be like, Jay, you ain't built it big enough. You, you ain't built it big enough, bro. <laughs> Because if you build it to the point, yeah, they don't like you, yeah, they hate you, yeah, they're so far in their own self-suppression, which is like black like slavery on everybody else because they don't believe them to be free, especially if they don't work for somebody who look like you but look like them. He says, just just keep building it. Just, just build it until it's like indisputable. See, couldn't nobody stand out there and be like, no one built no art, nigga. It's right there in front of you. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, call it whatever you want to call it. He built it. And now, now, whether it floated, whether the flood was real, or whether it was something that happened in their mind, I don't know. But we do know history shows that he built something significant that outlived his name. See, a lot of people don't even know who built it, but they know that big boat that sits on Mount Merak is still there today. When, when, when we talk about the dream, you talk about something that's like an incubation stage. Don't abort it. Don't mm -hmm. abort it because you don't have nobody to support it. Don't abort it because ain't nobody going to sign their name on a birth certificate. The hell with them. Let, let, if you have to birth it illegitimate, right? What am I talking about? You don't have the at, at LLC. You can't afford it. Cool. Get your tax ID and still build it. Like whatever it takes, you can't abort it. You, you, you know why? Because what's in you, bruh. What you're pregnant with, sis, it's going to change the path as we know it. And, and I know it seems crazy because you're kind of insignificant, but that's because you ain't birthed it yet. Yo. You, you can't give up on it. Cause it's I'm I'm t I'm I can't even I'm excited for I don't even know. Listen, right. you you ain't gotta take my I'm just if you just birth that thing, I promise you it's gonna change the world. What you do is you you, have, you you continue you continue to build that ark, and then you collect all your people when God send them to you. You just float on over to God, and then you form it into the ark of the covenant, and then you wherever you need to, and you just pray and talk to God everywhere. Plain and simple. He can't dispute you when you got God walking right there with you. Oh, oh, oh don't, don't, slip, don't, don't slip and drop it now because there'll be some consequences. Just hold on tight to it. Make sure everywhere you stop, you, you put that in, in its sacred place. But they said they had a, um, uh, a special tent where they would put the Ark of the Covenant uh, to where Moses would go and he would yeah. talk to God. God. What, what, what was that? Um, uh, I, I can't think of it. Yeah, the Ark of 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but uh, every time they would go somewhere, because they, 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 you know everybody would set up tents, but they had this, this special tent, big the big tent, where they would put the Ark of the Covenant, where, right. where only yeah. Moses and the high priest could go in there and talk. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put that up in something high, something big. That way you can continue to go in there and talk to God. Because he's the you, one who's you, birthed that entity. You, 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 you know what I found out? I read, I don't know how true, true, true it is, but one man's perspective or one book's uh, perspective on it was it was the actual ark that Noah built. Now, catch that now. Only mm. four men had the ability of carrying it. This is the same size ark that they just built to save the entire world. Only four people were ordained to carry it. I know it's heavy, but you can't trust everybody with it just to hold it. Because some people may can handle it, but they'll put their hands on it and that'll make you drop it because they're not ordained to hold it. God says, what I place they inside carry, of you, they can't handle I've already it. orchestrated and ordained the team to be with you and let somebody fall. You remember that one dude? L let somebody slip up. You remember that that one guy who who was carrying it, but it got too heavy for him. His eyes got a little too 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 tired. He, he, he had a little bit too much to drink the night before, and then he came to work a little bit hung over. He tripped. God killed him. I, I I want you to know that what I put inside of you is bigger than you. Once you tap into that, you won't just mess over it any kind of way. You, 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 you won't be trying to steal from it, trying to sneak in it, trying to sleep with folk around it. You won't do all of that because God will end up moving you out of the way to birth whatever it was that was purpose on you that you tainted, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the most frustrating thing for me is seeing an idea that God gave me that I dropped it and saw somebody else with it. Mm -hmm. I have not seen so many Airbnb, Airbnb commercials on Facebook about folk trying to tell people trying to tell people how they can turn their apartment into not passive but aggressive income that they, they, they put in there as, as a highlight, sold out for three months. And, and I say to myself, man, the journey that I experienced, the stuff that God afforded for me to come through and see that I slept on, people making millions off of that, just the idea of conception, not just Airbnb. Uber Eats. Mm, um, I remember that. I remember the, that. Um, I, I remember that. Yo, you used to, yo, yo, you, I remember you used to, uh, I used to be riding with you. And uh, what was that? that it was that, that bank that we went to. And yeah, 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 yeah. you dropped yeah. off some stuff. And I was like, yo, what are you doing? And you were like, uh, I forgot what you called it. But you were like, uh, you was like, this is going to be big, man. You was like, I, I, I have a feeling this is going to be big. Yo, that was crazy. Listen, and 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 you 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 can be my vouch for it. Google me, J Pfeiffer and Company Grocery Delivery Service. I started back in 2012, before like Uber, before like what whatever the name of them them uh, uh, other places were. And I'm not gonna say they got the idea for me, but I'm saying when you sleep on what God placed inside of you, somebody else will catch it. And they'll run with it. And they, they won't tell you. They won't give you credit. They won't be like, bro, you're on the sun good. What they'll do is they'll listen intentively. And if you don't do anything with it, they'll catch it and run with it. Because the enemy only wanted not to kill the dream. He just wanted to take it from you. He just ain't want you to have it. They was going to set the people free. They just ain't right. want you to do it, Moses. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Yeah.
But that's but it's a okay lot though. of stuff. Because, bro, like, you sleep on you. You know what I mean? Like, at some point in time, aren't you tired of that being your story? So it's, at, at some point in time, aren't you tired of seeing your hairstyle? You came up with somebody else, like, mm-hmm publishing it and like taking credit for it and no she took that from you when you did her hair two weeks ago in your kitchen <laughs> nappy head and they're gonna take it and run with it but the thing about it is though you you will sleep on it you gotta wake up to you you can't expect nobody else to support you if you don't even believe in you right and then if if, if that has to become a prayer then be honest about it god it scares me what you called me to do. I don't really know if I can do it, if you really called me to do it, but I'm willing and I'm able and I'm here. And if it's something that you can change or develop, God, then do it in my atmosphere. Do it here. Use me. Make me usable. All right? Like, I want to be usable. Use me, Lord. Not that's your prayer to God, not to that man. You say that to God. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Because he will. But... Yeah. That right there, man, should should give you, me, and everybody else who's listening and watching motivation. Because I'm sure people have had an idea uh, of something and may have said it to somebody or may not have said it to somebody and then you, know, you see it on shark tank or you see uh, a billboard for it or you see an advertisement for it you like man hold up man i had that same so like that right there should be a motivation to to just just do it just just do it mine as well whatever mine as well and just keep pushing right. keep pushing, keep I can honestly say in business, it's not always like peaches and cream. It's not always Reese's. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Business is one of the most difficult, most sweetest, most beautiful things I've ever done in my entire life. But at the end of the day, man, it is so worth it. It is so worth it knowing that I have money coming in that I work for, that I got because of me not because of somebody else because i went out and found somebody who needed work that's the, the, the um I, I didn't have any prospects coming in so the church that uh i went and uh or, or that i was to sleep out in front of um asked them hey you know if you guys need any work you know, i'm um a little short on some cash um pastor came out and he said um Actually, there's uh, some shrubs and some uh, some uh, bushes, and leaves. Uh, you could cut these down. Um, then you know we'll pay you. And uh, I was like, absolutely. So they brought out the tools, and I got to work. And at the end of it, you know, about two hours worth of work, you know, got me a little money in my pocket. And I tell you what, walking away from that man, that was one of the greatest feelings that. I've ever had, you know, and I love this feeling is being able to go out, find business, find people who need something done and right. and do the job. That's that's, that's right. what it's about. Not going to McDonald's, clocking in and all that stuff is is clocking in on my own. When I need to make money, when I want to make money, when when I see a need for something, when I want to get up off my lazy self and go clock in for my business, then I do it. Because Trevor, right. I'm human. I have, I have, I have the mentality of sometimes I'm gonna be lazy today, and I'm gonna eat some Reese's, and then when I start running low on Reese's, I'm like, oh, hold up, I'm running low on some Reese's. I, let me, I'm gonna get up and go do some work so I can give me some more Reese's, cause uh, uh, this bag looks empty. I, 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 I running out of Reese's now. That's 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 crazy. I, what? what? Right. So yeah. Nah, oh, I, I, and I, 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 I don't really eat Reese's, but but I I got a few habits that when my bag runs short, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. I, I I gotta find out a way how to get a refill on it. And I'm just talking about gas in that range. I'm talking about like the lights need to be paid. I'm talking about like money in my pocket in that account. 
when it starts to looking low, you better believe two weeks before that, Jay trying to find a way. The thing about it is, though, you can't tell me that McDonald's believes more in you than what you believe in you. Right. You, you, you cannot convince me that God purposed you, brought you through hell, heartache, fight and stress. You survived coronavirus. And you mean to tell me that Walmart believes more in you than you believe in the gift God told you and placed inside of you? You cannot convince me mm -hmm. that the hospital or the nursing home or that school believes more in you as a slave than what you believe you as a builder. You cannot convince me that. What you're convincing me is that you just don't see why they're wasting your time and would pay you for it. That they're, they're keeping you from building it, from fulfilling it, they're keeping you from birthing it. See, they, they believe in you more than what you think they believe in you. They'll waste your time to make sure you don't do it. They know go, go to an interview. Yeah, go, go to an interview and tell your bosses, um, or, or your 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 the, the future prospect of a boss, um, because you know how they're asking you to tell me about yourself. You know, oh hey yeah, well, I, I I I'm striving to be an entrepreneur. I would definitely love to start my own business. And then they ask you, well, how how do you think you are planning on? Oh, you know, uh, righteously, I'm 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 only planning on working here for about a, about a year. You know, um. I'm I'm trying to stack up my money so I can start my own business. See, don't you not get hired? They 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 don't want some time employees. They want full time. That's what's called full time employees. Even if they hire you part time, you're gonna pull full time hours. They only hire you part time so they can pay you part time wages. But you're gonna be working full time hours. To keep you distracted, you, you better not go in there telling them that you want to start. Do you know how many times I've done that and told them, "Hey, you know, I, I used to have this clean business, you know, and I'm I'm only working here uh, because business got a little, uh, sh you know, uh, start slowing down. But as soon as business picks back up, and and I've had some uh, 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 managers ask me, "Well, is there a way that you can work your business and work here? Is that going to be a conflict of interest?" And I tell them, "Hey, you know what? My business comes first. Uh, We'll call you if, if if something comes up. I, I I used to have a record of not ever getting turned down from a job until I owned my own business. Then I would go for uh, for jobs, and so many places were like, mm, "We're not hiring, sir." Oh, we we thought we were hiring, but we 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 just filled that position. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there, there are some folk who can sense it and see it. And and that should be sign of confirmation for you. When when they can't waste your time or pull you from it, that they won't find no use or no value in you. You 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 go up in there talking about, oh, well, I just need this to try and get my food truck off the ground. I just need need this because I'm trying to like get these eight so that I can go ahead and start and put the signs in. They'll either not hire you so that you can't get it or they'll hire you and stipend you to paying you and they'll drag you along for eight nine ten years being like i believe in you you're gonna go back to school <laughs> you, you, you can't do this one day as long as they can waste your time or eat it up then they find value in you just stopping you from doing what god called you to do and i'm not saying everybody's the enemy but i'm saying everybody's not your friend they don't want you to build it so they'll do whatever it takes to stop in your way to make sure you build theirs. The hell with yours. One one of the biggest things that that that, that struck me a long time ago, working for people, on which I, I praise the Most High. I don't celebrate holidays anymore. Um, but back when I did, New Year's, Thanksgiving, Christmas, my birthday. Mama's birthday, spouse's birthday, kid's birthday. I would be working. New Year's, Thanksgiving, 
all the other holidays or whatever, the owners would be at home enjoying their families. For people who are lonely or, or people who don't want to cook at home, so they come to my restaurant and I got to wait on them. I got to cook for them. I, I got I got to build this for them. I got to do this for them. I got to do whatever for them just in order for me to keep food on my table and I have to miss out on my family, my my enjoyment. Got to hear my say, hey, why do you have to leave so early? I'm open a few presents. Are you going to make it to my birthday party? All because I had that slave mentality. That was one of the hardest things that, that, that I had to learn is working for somebody else. They're always at home enjoying their family while you're always at their job enjoying your employees. Yeah. yeah. Missing your yeah. family. Yeah. You you gotta count up the cost and see what is it worth to you. And you ought to be worth more to you. Like we we gonna um we gonna end right right here because you you gotta get back to work and I, I gotta get back on, on my fight with Verizon. Um I, I appreciate you for joining with me today. Um, thank you for sharing um, with us your insight, your uh, perspective, your introspective um, on whatever it takes. I, I pray that somebody was able to get something from it. Um, just a fuel behind you to tell you that nobody can defeat you but you. Um, so get out your own way. Take your shoes off. Humble yourself, but defeat every giant that's standing in front of you. Um, and Doc, I just wanted to tell you, I appreciate you, um, you, your time, uh, but I didn't appreciate the hat. If I could take anything from you to feed and slay it, if I could stump on it, if I could arc it and build it and throw it away and tell God to forget it, it would be the hat. But I, I, I I'm going to say thank you, man, for, um, for your time on today. No slight to the hat. Hat could have stayed, but thank you for coming. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for inviting me, man. Thank you for um, opening Air Academy. Um, regardless of whatever so-called setback, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we still will be opening on the 20th of this month, even if we have to uh, go to Verizon and uh, pick it. Um, we're going to do what we have to do in order to make sure Definitely. our students have what they need. Because... Um, Absolutely. Trevor will be teaching somebody. I I tell you that much. That's 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 what's going. On. I ain't never been so happy to teach something in my life. Anywho, that, that's you. that's that's a good plug. You you can expect either by the tenth of this month, um, the site should be prepared up and in full readiness for registration uh, for spring semester. Uh, I am expecting, um, but our cap off is going to be at 40 students uh, for Air Academy Education for Entrepreneurs. You can apply at airllc.org um, or airacademyco.com. Um, thank you, Doc. Uh, we'll see you in class, man. Sure. Look, I look forward to to it. I do. I look, I look forward to it. This, this is going to be amazing, man. It's going to be cool, man. See, seeing you on campus, even though it's going to be virtual. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be walking around in 40 different people's minds all day. <laughs> <laughs> Airspace. Yes, sir. Air Academy. Airspace. Nice. Absolutely. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Hey, go make Verizon give you your stuff. If if not them, I'm gonna take it.